Welcome, gamesters, to Chuck Rock 2, Son of Chuck. You'll remember that in our last exciting adventure, Chuck Rock defeated the evil Gary Gritter and his despicable dinosaur. Coming one year after the original game, Chuck Rock 2, Son of Chuck, puts us in the shoes, nobody wears shoes in this game, of Chuck's baby son, who has to rescue his kidnapped father from the new antagonist, Brick Jagger, who has a pun name that's aged a lot better than the first game's Gary Gritter. Chuck has since become the successful company owner of the Rocket Automobile, which Chuck produces himself and has amassed great riches in doing so. Brick wants the same sort of success and fortune, and has kidnapped Chuck in order to force him to make a competing line of cars because he's so rubbish at it. The whole story is told via the game's introductory cutscene, and it's a great piece of animation that's home to some solid gags to help set the comedic tone of the game. Blissfully unaware of her husband's predicament, Ophelia received the ransom demand. She was understandably upset. As Chuck's son, you can jump and attack using a club. Picking up and throwing rocks is no longer a factor in Chuck 2, and it's a better game for it. Chuck 2's core mechanics are basically jumping and attacking stuff, and even when rocks do come into play, you're often just smacking them around to make platforms to jump onto. You do have another action button, which is used sparingly, to ride mounts that make scant appearances across the game, and they certainly help vary the action when they come into play. The big improvement over the original game is the range on Baby Chuck's club. It's now a lot easier to attack enemies and a lot fairer as the extra range the weapon gives you means that you don't have to be right on top of enemies to attack them anymore. Outside of this, it's very much a Chuck Rock sequel, with loads of collectibles to hunt for, secret areas to uncover, and baddies to club into submission. It's a well-controlling platform experience with some really detailed and colourful visuals. Character designs are very much of the British comic book persuasion, and because of that you may find that you like their designs or hate them depending on where you're from but they show a lot of emotion through their wacky expressions, and I very much appreciate that. Unlike the original game, Chuck Rock 2 doesn't really feature much in the form of bonus content for its Mega CD port. This is the sort of game that most people assume Mega CD ports are like, a Mega Drive game with a CD soundtrack and video cutscenes. And outside of some minor sprite scaling effects, this is basically what you get for Chuck Rock 2. This is not to say it's a bad game, but it really doesn't offer a whole lot more versus its Mega Drive incarnation. But if colourful platforming silliness is up your alley, then Chuck Rock 2 Son of Chuck absolutely delivers, and if you own a Mega CD, it's a worthy addition to your collection, even if the main character looks like a sentient spud. 